Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Mel, and this is Mel did it herself. Today I just wanted to keep it kind of casual and talk about um, some new decor things that I've picked up kind of like within the quarantine period. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've been working from home, I've been sitting around a lot, I've been staring at every single wall in this house, and I've been doing a lot of online shopping. Um, so I spent some money, it's all good. We're, we're budgeting, we're keeping it responsible. But um, I thought you might be interested to see kind of like a bit of a compilation of some of the things that I have picked up. Um, and I'll let you know how much things were, kind of how I'm using it and styling it. And I will insert some photos as well from my Instagram probably um, of how I've been like incorporating them into my house and hope you like it. Um, if you're not already, please go down downstairs there and hit the subscribe button um and as well if you're not following me sorry on um instagram you should why aren't you um it's melded herself it's the same as this channel's name um i keep it easy you know I'm just trying to like I'm just trying to like go smooth through this whole quarantine thing I'm just trying to keep it light you know we're gonna talk about some decor it's gonna be a good time okay i promise so yeah, let's just get into it, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna preface this with this season, this year, this summer, I've very much gotten into plants. So like probably close to half of this is gonna be plant related. It's just who I am now. I'm a plant mom. I care about my babies. I want them to look as good as they can. I want them to be cared for, okay? So anyways, if you're not into plants, you're probably not gonna like most of this, but you should stay anyways. What else are you gonna do, you know? So the first thing that I have is these two plant holders, like they're cutting holders, I should say. They are from Boucler and they're called the gold and black metal wire vases. So, I'm waiting for my paper. Um, so these guys are $15 each. I got two of them, one black and one gold. And I've just been using them for different cuttings that I've been taking off of my plants. Um, to create new plants. You can see when they're propagated in water like this, they grow new roots, which is awesome because then when the roots are long enough, then I can just replant those and take cuttings from my other plants and it's just like a cycle, you know? Um, so I think they're very sleek. They're 15 bucks each, so not the cheapest. Actually, since then I've come across ones online at Simon's Canada and I think they were $7.50 each. So I'm actually gonna pick up one or two of those as well. I think they only came in gold at Simon's, um, but they are a bit of a different like shape, but still very much like the industrial, like the lines are similar and stuff. So um, thought I could set up a whole like moment with those. Um, and yeah, they're very cute. They're easy. Um, I just change out the water about once a week on them, or if it looks like it's starting to get murky sooner, like especially the ones that are maybe in direct sunlight. Um, they get a little bit grosser quicker, so I'll switch those out maybe once every like four days. Um, yeah, and other than that, they just kind of do their thing, which is amazing. Next thing I have is also from Boucler, and it's a big lumbar throw pillow. It has this kind of detailing on the side with the, I don't know what you call this, fringe, I guess. Um, and this nice kind of like rusted orangey terracotta mixed color. Um, and it's a perfect size for our bed. I was looking for something that was the shape um, with a little bit of texture and then our color palette, which is kind of like warm neutrals. Um, so this is perfect. It was, I believe 30, I think it was $35. So it was a little bit more that I typically would want to spend on one throw pillow, but it was just kind of like exactly what I was looking for. And I was like, I'll get it, bring it home. If it doesn't work or I'm not in love with it, or I feel like really badly about spending that much on one pillow, and I'll return it, and it didn't feel that bad. So here we are. Next thing I have is a wooden serving tray, and it's kind of this um, like raw, like live edged sort of um, tray. I got it off Amazon actually, and the um, maker was Co-Spring. It's called the Co-Spring Root Wood Serving Dish. And they actually don't have it in stock currently. They have they make a couple different like sizes. So this was kind of like the mid-range size. So it was 20 something dollars. I want to say like $23. The ones that they have in stock right now are just the ones that are a little bit longer. 
um, and they're in the $30 range. So they look really cool. Like I was looking through all the reviews um, and it had very great reviews. And the thing with this company is that every dish that you get is a little bit different because it's um, like coming from natural woods and natural logs, <laughs> trees. Um, so everyone looks different. So when you're looking at the photos, there's like a wide range of shapes and kind of sizes and styles. So you don't really know what you're gonna get. So you can see here, this had kind of like a bit of a, what are those called, knots? Like a bit of knottiness going on. And it's really nice. I've used it a couple different ways, styled it. Currently I have it in our, um, the room behind me, which is our living room. And just kind of like with some coasters and the remote control. But I also had it in the kitchen and it was housing the different uh, syrups like that I put in my coffee, like um, vanilla and hazelnut syrup and that kind of stuff. So I just had that on there with little espresso cups. But honestly, you could use it for whatever. I've also styled it um, on our shelves. I'm gonna be inserting some pictures here too, so you can kind of get an idea. Just kind of on the back wall, just as a literal decor piece, not for any sort of like use. Um, but yeah, so they have them in different sizes. The longer ones look like they're um, more long and kind of like tubular shaped for the most part. And then the smaller ones are more like circular. So this is kind of one that was in between and it's um, nice, it's like solid wood, durable. Um, you could get something like this from an artisan and I would totally encourage you to like shop local, but I mean, you gotta give Amazon credit. It came in two days. It's everything that they said it would be and it's beautiful. So um, I know some people aren't super pro Amazon and supporting Amazon and that kind of thing, but I mean, sometimes it's just like the way to go in my mind. I'm just like a very easy person, like whatever's easiest, quickest, like if it's exactly what I want, I'm just gonna get it. I'm not gonna wait till I find it somewhere else. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if you hate me for that. Okay, next thing we have is this throw blanket. And it's got, again, these little, I'm just obsessed with tassels. Do you guys watch Alexandra Gator on um, YouTube where she's also very highly um, active on Instagram. Um, she's like obsessed with pom-poms and tassels and I started watching her probably like close to a year ago, maybe not quite a year ago. And that's like her jam. Like she loves a good tassel and a good pom-pom. And since then I'm like, fuck yeah, I love that too. So I like look for these tassels, not so much pom-poms because I find it's very like girly and I try to keep things relatively neutral because I mean, I live in this house, but so does my fiance and he's not necessarily wanting an all pink pom pom out house. So anyways, got this guy, um, H&M Home, and it was $45. So it was a little bit more than I would typically pay for a throw blanket. This was like at the beginning of quarantine and I was just looking for like the perfect throw blanket to put on our bed to make it like cozy. It, it was a splurge, I'll say that. It's, it was definitely a splurge. But it's very large, when I open this out, it almost covers like the entirety of the top of our king size bed. Um, and you can just kind of like drape it. I've actually had it in our spare room as well because we have similar like color palettes in there. Um, and it's just nice. I can keep it down the stairs when we're watching TV or have it as an extra t um, blanket for like when guests come over and stuff. Obviously blanket's very neutral and easy and you can clean it and it's gonna last forever. So. It was kind of just exactly what I was looking for. So again, I just went for it. This next one is a bit of a big daddy. It's hard to get it all in frame, but it's a large rug. Um, I think it's a five by eight, if I recall correctly. Um, and I got it from HomeSense and it was uh, $40. And it, it again, it has these tassels on it. We see a theme, a bit of a motif. Um, I'm very much into these like neutral tones, very like textured, earthy organics. It's kind of like, slowly taking over the house. At first I was just kind of making it our guest room and then I kind of integrated it into our master and now it's just kind of like creeping to all the other rooms. So whatever, I'm rolling with it. I like it, Kurt likes it, my fiance and yeah. So it's kind of um, two-sided. If you can see on this side, it's more predominantly white with the jute color uh, pattern. And then this side is the jute colored pattern with no, the jute color predominantly with the white pattern. Um, there is a tag on this side, so I'm gonna have to cut that. Um, Cause for the moment, I think I'm gonna have it in our master bedroom with this side up because it's kind of similar-ish in tone flooring to this. 
Um, I just finally got all the creases out of it today and then rolled it back up to use in this video. So hopefully those don't come back because that was annoying to get rid of without a steamer. Next up, I have this little freaking adorable pinch of salt container. So I usually use a grinder for um, our salt. And I just have one, like you can buy it pre-filled. It's like a plastic one at the grocery store. And that's usually what I get. And I refill. No, sorry. I don't even get it at the grocery store. I get a Dollarama. So it's very cheap. But I watch a lot of Food Network, okay? And when those chefs just grab from their little dish beside the, the stove and they just grab their pinch of salt and they just put it and season. They're just seasoning everything. I'm like, okay, I kind of want to like do that. It's like... Kind of nice to have so i'm getting low on that um grinder that we have so when i saw this i was like how freaking cute and perfect is that so on this side it says pinch of salt on this side it says pince de sel because it's a canadian company and we are bilingual um it was it's from Claire. did i say that and it was how much 13 dollars so not too bad, it's bamboo obviously. I don't know if that's obvious. Um, and the top just kind of like turns off like that and you can put your coarse grain salt in there and you can be salt bay all day, all day. Next up we have this adorable little wood tray um, for desserts. I have Nespresso capsules in here right now because when I put desserts in here, I took a photo and it's there for like a day and then I eat all the goddamn desserts, okay? <laughs> like I said, quarantine, okay? It's a real thing. So I got this at home sense and it comes with the wooden base with on the little like feet and then the cover to keep your items fresh. Um, I got this at home sense um, the day that they reopened. So I waited into, for two hours in line to get into a home sense location. I don't want to hear it, okay? I judged myself that day and it was 30 something degrees out. But then after I was like waiting in line for so long, I'm like, I can't leave because then I just wasted all this time before this for nothing. So then I had to stay. And then by the time I got in, I was like, there's nothing I really need, but I'm not gonna like wait in line all that time to come in here and then not buy anything. <laughs> so then I bought that, okay. I have some like spending habit things that I'm curbing, okay? We'll figure it out as we go. So this was how much? It was on sale for $12. So it wasn't too bad. Um, it's very good quality. There was a little bit of a chip. I'll show you, see on right there, where the bark, it probably just like hit up against something and it chipped off, but I obviously just sit it like this on the counter. So this is against the counter, no one would ever know, but that's why it was on sale. So that was lovely. So one thing you need to know about me, I really enjoy and get like legitimate pleasure out of finding a good deal. I will splurge if I think it's worth it or if I'm kind of like in the mood that I don't really care. You know how you get in those moods sometimes because like society tells us we should spend money so then you're just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna buy it. Like, like I'm gonna do me like self love, like self care and you spend money, I don't know. But I do that sometimes. But typically I prefer to get a good deal and if I know that it's something that's worthwhile. Like I just, it just gives me like a warm fuzzy feeling inside to know that I saved money. So all the things that we have in our house, um, if it was an item that we knew we wanted, we waited till it got on sale. We negotiated with salespeople, like both me and my fiance, we prefer to be able to get a good deal if we can. I encourage you to do the same because you'll save money. Um, but all that to say, I don't always splurge like some of these things look like I'm splurging on. Um, these are these are the anomalies, okay? But this was a good deal. And this, my friends, is a huge ass plant pot. Head for reference. Um, and I got it at Marshall's and it is like, I forget, I measured it. I think it's 14 inches wide-ish. It was $15. Now, my theory is that it got marked incorrectly because the one that was one size down from it was $13.99, so it was like $14. So it's $1 difference for like over twice the size. So I think it might've got marked wrong, but I think I capitalized on that mistake. I can't 
can't say I feel bad about it. Um, so yeah, so this guy holds my um, Chinese evergreen that we have in our master upstairs. I'll show a picture. Um, and it is, she is growing through this season. Like she is throwing out new leaves like it's nobody's business. And this pot is just the perfect size to house her. So it's been lovely having it. This next guy, I have a few little succulents here and I got this plant pot from Michael's and they had a couple different ones. Um, and I think with kind of like the whole pandemic thing, a lot of places had their like springy summer stuff out, you know, around like March when things were starting to close and then they had to close completely and they were just relying on like online sales. And so not, a lot of things weren't selling. So things went on like pretty big discount and or there's a lot of those things left over when the places did reopen. So I did buy this in person once they did reopen and it was $15 if I recall. Yep, yeah, $15. Um, but it's Michael's so I got it 50% off. So what's that? $7.50. Um, it's probably probably six inches I would say um, size. I'm really bad at like judging like measurements and stuff um, but I think it's about that. Uh, decently wide, not too, too deep, so it's good. I just have like three little baby succulents that I replanted in here. Um, and I think it's nice. It's kind of just like that muted terracotta. It's ceramic um, and this kind of, um, what's this called? This like type of pattern, like, I always wanna call it muesli, muesli. Why? It's not that, it starts with an M. Anyways, I think it's mud cloth, mud cloth, that's neat nowhere near that word I just said. Anyways, I really like that patterning and I think these kinds of patterns are really coming in with like the like sponge wall movements and all those things. You see a lot of like the the lines but like imperfect kind of organic lines. So all that to say, I think this is very cute and it's been kind of living in our guest room and down here because on the main floor I have like a assortment of different pots. Boop, boop. Um, that don't necessarily match but they just kind of it just kind of all works it's a vibe i hope i think it works next plant pot is this cute pug plant pot and it's called the mischievous pug pot so cute because pugs are so mischievous my fiance has an obsession with pugs he grew up with pugs likely at one point or another we will end up with a pug puppy I'm in a weird, very like clean freak phase right now. So I'm not wanting one at this moment because they shed like a motherfucker. But one day maybe we will. So I got this at Simon's Canada um, and it was $7.50. So it's good, it's a four inch pot. I just have my um, string of pearls cutting because somebody backed up into it and not all of the part of it that hung. It was not a good day for that person because I was very angry because <laughs> I just bought it. Um, so we're propagating that. We're going to make some new life from it. It's all good. But yeah, it's just so cute. And this has just been actually sitting back here on the ledge because like I said, I have a lot of random pots there with different plants. This is one of the only rooms that gets really good indirect light. So any of my plants that like can't withstand the like direct light but need some sort of something going on, it's pretty much this room, a little bit in our guest room. Um, there's not a lot of like ledges and stuff to put plants and then um in my makeup room so we're limited this is another plant pot that i got from simon's as well i think it is so cool and it's again it's that kind of rusticy organic um textured it is um kind of like cementy but clay um and pattern and this one is called the altiplano planter and it was $12. Um, I think it's probably either a four or six inch, but it's a little bit deeper than the other one, as you can see. So, I don't know. I don't have anything else to say. It's cute and I like it and it's a plant pot and it houses one of my plants. And this guy has so much new growth and I am so pumped about it. How, do you guys get just as excited with new plant growth as I do? Like, like living at home, no living at home, I always live at home, working from home, being at home constantly, going slowly insane, if you can't tell. Um, like every day I'm like looking at my plants, which for some of them has resulted in like overwatering, so that's not good, but I just like stare at it and I see like little buds coming up and I'm like, ooh, 
new plants, new leaves and life, and it's so fun. Okay, one more. It's, it's a big daddy. Let's get my leg up here. It's a cute angle. Okay, so this is a planter head to scale that I got from HomeSense. Um, I actually can't find the receipt and I got it like a week and a half ago and I just took the tag off yesterday and I don't know what garbage I put it in. I can't find it. I'm pretty confident that it was like $20. So we're going to go with that. Um, and it's actually um, an indoor outdoor planter. I think it's supposed to be outdoor, but because um, it has like this little insert. And so it, I just have the um, actual planter like container in there so that there's drainage, but um, yeah, it's good size. Um, and I just love the like pattern on there. I think for like plants, I think you can, for like wacky plants like this, I think you need a bit of a wacky planter. Like you need something going on that's not like super plain and white or black. So um, I think this really plays it up with this huge spider plant. Um, yeah, and I like it and it's cute. So that's it for now. I have done some other shopping, but that's for another day. Um, I'm gonna do a thrift finds um, video at some point in time, um, but that's for another day. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I encourage you if you did to leave a thumbs up below. Um, like I said, if you haven't already subscribed, if I didn't convince you at the beginning, hopefully I've convinced you now, go down there and subscribe. And if you aren't already, come and follow me on Instagram at Mel Did It Herself. I post a lot of like behind the scenes of my DIYs. Um, sometimes I just post like projects there that I'm not necessarily gonna put on in, um, YouTube. So come check me out there. I also do a segment every Tuesday there called Teach It Tuesday, where I try and impart some of the wisdom that I have come across. Not that it's necessarily that much, but I try and share whatever it is that I know or that I have learned from others. Um, so yeah, come check it out over there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll leave links to any of the items that I can down below. Some places I can't, like um, HomeSense doesn't have their own stuff online, but I'll leave um, kind of like the item and the price so you can reference it again if you're interested. Um, and also some video links below of mine from the past that you might be interested in. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good day. Bye.